Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 9th through the 12th, Monday through Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. Well, you know, Monday through Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine decks. Um, one, it, the message, the main message comes from my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I pull one card, usually, from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I hope you're having a great weekend, my Virgos. I really think that's what we talked about for the weekend readings, but remember, full moon on the 9th, talked about that also. Also, um, Mercury goes direct on the 10th, yay. But I always like Mercury. I don't mind Mercury going retrograde. I feel, again, like it's a big broom sweeping things up. Now, I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power spirit, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it comes through. Now, I, you know, many of you know I live in Middle Tennessee, and to the north of me is Nashville, and from East Nashville, all the way east to Putnam County, we had um, Monday night a good 10 tornadoes go through that area. There's been a lot of destruction and there's been a lot, there's been a lot of death. You know, one is too many. And so I want everyone to know that, you know, I want everyone that might have been affected by these tornadoes, by this destruction, that my heart, my prayers go out to them and I hope that you'll join me in that too. So... Let's go on and let's start our readings for my Virgos. You know, that's where we say, therefore, but the grace of God go I. And, you know, whoever your higher power is, okay? Three cards are face down, Monday through Thursday. Nothing's reversed for my Virgos. So let's see what we have here for my Virgos. First card is... The Ten of Raphael. So that really good feeling is still continuing throughout this week, okay? So like I said, I felt really good energy for you over the weekend, and this just continues. This is emotional energy. It's part of our, um, you know, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. That full moon is in Virgo. It's just a, I mean, I really feel that there's a sense of rightness here for you, my Virgos. I feel like you've got some determination that you, no, I shouldn't say determined, you have some, you have a sense of, I know what I need to do, I am going to do this, you know, even if it's staying where you're at, I'm not, because I feel you, you're going to be thinking about moving your job a little bit down the line here, I'm not thinking you're thinking it now, but you're kind of like your plan is coming to, your plan, the plan that you've had, that you've been putting together, I feel like there's a rightness to it. You're like, okay, I'm going to, you know, part of it could be maybe you're staying with a job um, with a company that's, um, you know, maybe they're going out of business for whatever reason. I'm just giving this as an example. But you're like, I'm going to stay. I'm going to I'm gonna stay with this as long as I can. Um, look for that severance package. Look for that, you know, separation package. Or I'm going to stay with this until something else um, comes into my energy. I don't really feel like you are out there searching or seeking. You could be. And if you need a job, please do that. But I feel like there's this, that you've come to this sense of rightness and a sense of acceptance, which is really, it's really very powerful for you to do that right now. Okay. Tense transitioning, but I really transit, I really feel this, there's a sense of acceptance of your situation, whatever that is. And it's like you're letting things play out, and I think that that's very wise for you, okay, or wise of you. Love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. I like that. Here we go. Next card up, the Knight of Ariel. Now, Ariel energy is your energy. It's also Capricorn and Taurus energy. Solid energy, something, someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money. Uh, money that comes from opportunities, from income opportunities, maybe jobs itself too. Nights are directional. So here it is. There's this sense of acceptance. There's this sense of, okay, I have my plan together. I know what I want to do. And it's still, you know, this I feel is kind of this sense of preparation. Now, again, 
I feel like, you know, you're going to let the jobs come to you if that's what you're planning on doing, or you're going to be going, you know, you're looking to stay with this company because, you know, you think that there could be a good payout from this company. You're just kind of, you know, biding your time. But while you're biding your time, it doesn't mean for you to stop working. It doesn't mean for you to stop networking, reaching out, or anything like that. Does that, does that make sense? It means that you need to continue to do you know, you need to continue to do this. So if that means, you know, keep your resume updated, keep your resume updated because you don't know since, you know, you're, you may not be the one that's actively going out, but passively things could come to you. Okay. So Knight of Ariel is trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. I feel like that's kind of that, you know, that connection with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you. Your next card is again, the eight of a Raphael. So again, it's that water energy. And it's again, you know, this whole week is about, okay, you know, it doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean when I say acceptance, it doesn't mean, you know, like I said, it doesn't mean for you to stop. It doesn't mean for you to stop. Again, it's, it's, um, you know, this night of Ariel is about, you know, there's a, still a lot for you to do. So possibly too, you know, and this is kind of strange too. So maybe you're thinking of, you know, maybe, maybe again, that job scenario, and I'm just using that as an example, but you're thinking, okay, so what do I need? What do I need to do when things start opening up again for me? Okay. What do I need to do? And, I, and again, I'm not trying to, but maybe this is where you say, okay, Maybe during this time, this time of acceptance, maybe I need to go back to school and, and you know get my get my credentials updated. Maybe I need to lose weight. Maybe I need to get into better physical. You know, it's still there is still this opportunity. There's still this time of preparation. It, it's like my Virgos because and this full moon is going to help you with that. It's going to help you to identify what you need to do. You, you may not do anything extremely, you know, decisive this week, but you, you know, but you will be still making some decisions, okay? And again, the decisions are, well, I'm going to ride this out. I'm going to, I'm not going to actively look for work, but I will let it work. I will um, passively look for work, and that means possibly putting my resume on the computer. But in order to do that, I need to make sure that my resume is updated. Um, also, too, if things are going to change in the next however many months, I need to be prepared for that change. So this is all about that preparation because, you know, the, because you want, you want your firm foundation and this week is going to start you on that. Again, I feel a lot of acceptance for whatever this situation is, but with that exception, you're making your plan so that when the big move comes, when the big move is revealed, you're ready to step into that now. I don't feel that that big move is going to be revealed this week, okay? But you, you know, but you've been hearing some grumblings, you've been hearing things, okay? So there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So it's real interesting energy for you. You're going to get prepared. And my, my goodness, if anyone can prepare, Virgos, you can prepare, okay? So this is a week of preparation for you, um, but you feel good about it. You feel good about it, you know, and, you know, whereas before I think that there was the anxiety of not knowing and now you're like, well, I'm prepared for when, you know, I, I almost feel like you're, you're saying I'm prepared if the shoe drops, I'm prepared if it isn't, if it doesn't. Okay. Not to say that the shoe will drop. It's just, again, this is a week of preparation for you. And that full moon is going to really help you through that. Remember, release, relinquish, request. Okay, last card, last, last card, and this one's reversed. Here we go. First, this is it. The Magician. Okay, so this goes along with this whole um, thing about you doing what you need to do. Okay, you getting things prepared. This is number one. This is about new beginnings. You working, you doing what you have to do. Archangel Energy card. This is Archangel Raziel. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. You've got that full moon coming in. You know, that, well, you can really start working with it right now. That full moon is here for you. It's in Virgo. 
life is magical, um, you know, and when I say that, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of, you know, have you ever been at a place where, you know, the anxiety is such that you want things to change and be, and it's like the anxiety is such and things don't change, but when you come to that point of acceptance and then all of a sudden it's like, and you come to this point of calmness and connection with that higher power and then all of a sudden changes start to happen, okay? This is what this week is all about for you, my Virgos. Okay, so my Virgos, remember down there, if you like my readings, remember to like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Virgos, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.